Hello YouTube, J Bob the video game slot coming back at you after a big rainstorm. Stop me if you've heard that before. It's just that kind of year. It is a Saturday. This was the first Friday. I did not take off. I did go to a Friday 7 a.m. garage sale. I think I mentioned in the last video it was terrible. Uh, but we are off to a couple of community sales today. About to pick up my buddy and uh, head off here. So we got the big minivan today. And we're hoping to pack it full. Let's see what we can find. Our junior bowling ball. Weird. Library book sale with games. Shouldn't it? So I have no idea if I've done an intro for these pickups um, in another video or not. But anyway, here's some stuff. I'm at the game store, uh, all around store, whatever you want to call it. And uh, we're going to take this stuff in. Um, so I'm just so far behind on everything. I'm trying to get it cleaned out. Um, this was a today pickup, the Mr. Rogers LP for 50 cents from Goodwill. Uh, just too cool to pass up, and I think that'll sell well in his store. He'll be happy to have that. Hardcover Harry Potter, I think, was also 50 cents. I can't remember where I even got that. Can't go wrong with that. He'll need that. Uh, a whole stack or collection that I got for free of these comic buyer's guides. I don't know if uh, he can just turn those into buttons, maybe, using some of the glossy pages or... If people actually buy these to give you a sense of when they're from, um, they're like 10 years old, so I'm not sure. Uh, this is the one I really can't remember if I did a promo um, to picking up these trade paperbacks. There's a whole bunch of them in here and also some free comic book day comics. Um, if I had to guess, I'd say there's about a dozen of these. Um, all Batman and DC stuff. I think it's pretty much all Batman in there. So I'm hoping these are a couple bucks because I put 15 bucks into these. And so if I'm smart, I'll come back after this and tell you what I got for all this junk. And hopefully it'll be more than the 16 bucks I invested. World Jib, I'm the video game slob here after picking up all that uh, stuff from the garage sales. Uh, trying to do a recap. Um, it has been nearly a week now because I'm going out for garage sales uh, tomorrow. But I still haven't got through any of the stuff because I'm so busy. So... Um, church sale. This was 25 bucks. Um, as you'll see later, these uh, cords and the um, power supply there for the uh, Game Boy Advance SP. I'll, I'll get back to you with some more details there. So March of the Penguins. Um, I'm seeing a lot of this for the first time. Hey Arnold, the movie. That could be cool. Uh, let's see. Got a couple of uh, stuck together. Manual for March of the Penguin. Manual for Tiger Woods. Dora the Explorer. All right, so nothing good there for 25 bucks. Uh, what else do we have? We got the SpongeBob plug and play, pretty cool. A uh, broken PS2 controller, not as cool. Looks like um, a little Disney Infinity, guys. Oh, that's weird. Another plug and play, but with Spider-Man. That'd be my third Spider-Man plug and play. Little Disney Infinity superheroes. I don't know how much of those I have. I don't know. One of those. Okay. Uh, games here. Uh, Gran Turismo. Let's see if there are games in these. There are. Okay. So that's good. They're complete. So we got Gran Turismo. Uh, we got Transformers. We got Lego Indiana Jones. We got the Lego Batman. SpongeBob Truth or Square. That was expensive on the 360. Um, ATV Off-Road Fury. Switch to some PS2 Cars Graded Hits. I know I have that. Mater National might have some value. Speed Racer, not sure if I have that. Uh, Cars the Game, not Cars the UMD Movie. Star Wars, you're never worth anything anymore. Little Big Planet, classic though. Uh, Lego Batman, nobody cares about. Some of these SpongeBob's do okay. I don't know if that's one of them or not, but uh, there you go. Oh, ATV 4. I feel like 4 is a harder to find one uh, than the others. And the real reason I picked it up, and oh, I still have it charging. It didn't have a, a, a plug-in charger, so that was my own. But it is a totally working Game Boy Advance SP 101. So I don't know if I shouted that out or not. And it came with Shrek Smash and Crash Racing. So... There you go, very cool. I would have paid 25 bucks for this alone, so um, that was a pretty good deal. Uh, threw in the box with it um, a corded Apple keyboard to go with the pile of Apple keyboards I have. Uh, there's the Tiger Woods Golf. 
So man, this is a pretty good pickup for 25. These really heavy James Bond DVD sets. Uh, they can go media mail, so hopefully those do well. These are just empty cases. Um, so I'll just take those to the local game store. Speaking of things that'll go to the local game store, I'll put that in my kid movie pile and another video game store. So, okay, there you go. That was the first lot for 25. Uh, let's see, here was like the first hit of the day. Uh, that was 10 bucks. Uh, a broken Mad Cats controller, but it does have the end, and I get a couple bucks out of those ends and the AV cable, so that's cool. Um, black maybe has some value, I don't know. Um, but yeah, Tom Clancy's are nothing, Medal of Honor nothing, uh, Battlefield nothing, maybe Laura Croft, uh, maybe Prince of Persia. 13 should be good. Gun, I'm, I've said it a million times on this channel, but fantastic game, one you need to play. And Halo 2 will just go into my hoard. Oh, and another Prince of Persia. So hopefully 10 bucks worth of stuff in there. I just wanted to buy it just to have it. Um, people were throwing out these guitars. So I had uh, four guitars that I paid nothing for and one microphone with it. So that's a pretty cool deal. Four guitars for nothing. I'm sure I'll get something out of that. Uh, 50 Cent Elf Born to Rock Hand Puppet. Uh, these were five games for 10 bucks. So I just bought these. Skyrim I'm hoarding. And Minecraft I think is about an $8 trade-in at GameStop. So that should do just fine. Uh, $5 each on The Punisher. Simpsons. The Hulk. Ghostbusters. And a sealed ducktail. So that'll go uh, to eBay. Some kid movies. These are a quarter each. Uh, another Ghostbusters. Oh, GameStop exclusive. Ghostbusters. Airheads. Classic. Cars for the kid movie, uh, another quarter movie lots, so those were a quarter each, so that was a pretty good deal. Um, paid 15 bucks for two uh, DS's that are, well, I don't think they're in here anymore. Uh, neither of them worked out, so that sucked, uh, but it did come with a ton of games, uh, but I'll show you the games here in a second, but nothing really great, and then 35 bucks for the 360 with the extra controller um, and all these games. So uh, Farm Simulator 15, probably the best. And Blitz 2, the league, also pretty good. Um, so I should be able to get some out of that. Bigs 2, not bad. In terms of playability, play Bigs 2, it's an awesome game. Yeah, some of those MXs are decent. Another uh, Minecraft. I can take and get a couple bucks from GameStop for. So there you go. 50 bucks would have been a great deal had uh, these two worked. Unfortunately, they did not. Um, I'm trying to even think what I... Oh, I can't remember what these were. Shoot, I'm hoping it'll come back to me as I flip through them how much I paid for these. Uh, but I can't even remember anymore. I'm looking at them thinking to myself... Uh, I must... Oh, no, these came with the... Sorry. These were the games that came with the uh, $35 Xbox 360, so never mind. Oh, God, that's just terrible. And there's the case for the farming sim. She said that that had a case to it, so there we go. And some extra manuals down there. Uh, here were the games that came with the $15 DSs. Since they didn't work, I paid 15 bucks for these games. Two copies of Pac-Man. Those things follow me. Everywhere I go, Spyro, I think, oh god, this is not coming into focus here, uh, is I think only a $5 game. Dora, Every Girl, Nemo, Nemo, Rumble Pack. Of course, Donkey Kong Country 2 got bit by a dog, so that's a shame, because that would have gotten me some of my money back. And then Mario Advance 4 and uh, Mario Kart, maybe those are five each, I'm not sure. And then just a bunch of terrible Monster Jam, Zoo Tycoon, Planes, yeah, Cars, there's nothing in here. So, oh man, really bit the bullet on that one, but uh, hopefully it all works out, so we'll see. Uh, I paid ten or nine fifty for all this stuff, so two Nunchucks, the Zapper, the two Motion Pluses, the two controllers, Wii Sports, 
Chicken Blaster, Thrillville, Cabela's, and the Wii Sports Resort. So I think pretty good for $9.50. 75 cents for the VTech phone and $1 for the Vintage Light Bright with all the pieces. Uh, two bucks for the Jurassic Park board game, 50 cents for a vintage Scrabble, and a dollar for a Heineken mirror that's pretty vintage. Two bucks for Endless Ocean and the Xena combined. 50 cents for the Zumba. I think I paid a quarter for the Polaroid free bin for the uh, radio. Uh, quarter, a dollar for the 1989. Uh, Turtles fanny pack. Uh, Buck for Brave sealed. 50 cents. A quarter. Oh, I paid yeah, four each for these controllers. I got that guy out of a free bin. This is the Madden football collection for free. Some vintage car keys for a quarter. So there you go. Oh, a dollar for these six games. And then, oh, these were all free. Yeah, so this was a nice score because these were all free. So here's kind of the gaming part of it, which is weird because I say five bucks and I ask how much and she said, oh, you can just have them. So very cool score. I don't think anything's worth a lot. I don't know if any are needed for my collection or not. And then a couple of goosebumps down there. Uh, 50 cents each for the Star Wars and the... Spongebob, uh, the Wii Fit, of course, is free, and a dollar each for these plug-and-plays. I always like to buy them in lots. I'm pretty sure I have all these, the Frogger and everything. Somebody was getting rid of a free drum set, and it had a Wiimote on it, so that was pretty cool. And I'm looking to see if I'm missing anything. I think this was it. I paid 20 bucks for a Wii lot. This is the last thing that I got. Again, a whole bunch more of these um, Disney Infinities, a bunch of cool controllers. Um, had the manuals, which I always like. And if we can get to it here, yeah, we can go through what we got. So, um, I Spy Double Pack, Infinity. Uh, that's the real reason I got it, because uh, Wii Party is like a $20 game, I think. Uh, I might not have some of these. That Disney Princess doesn't ring a bell. Always good to have the Wii Fit. And a couple Just Dances. Uh, a couple of these Just Dances may go to GameStop. I don't know. So, all in a pretty good day. So, get out there and get grinding, YouTube.